G'day Ice Cream Lovers, my name's Steve Christensen. Welcome to this session of Scoop School, nice to have you here. Do you wanna thank our episode sponsor, which is Dave, Sarah, and all the crew up there at the Chocolate Shop Ice Cream Company, Madison, Wisconsin. They are making primo quality ice cream. I don't know whether the term primo still is in the vernacular, but primo ice cream, high quality ice cream that you can sell in your store as your own product, or you can use their product, very, very strong in the Midwest. The link is down below. Have a look at what they got to offer. Have a look at all of their new flavors. Uh, we very much appreciate the quality of their ice cream and their episode sponsorship. Okay, great question from our good friends down at Southern Custard, Southern Custard. If you're ever in the Atlanta area, uh, Southern Custard, frozen custard, great quality product, great quality frozen custard. Uh, they had a question on how do we explain to customers uh, about price increases and it's a great question because look everything is going up right now and I don't think it's kind of out of the norm that people are expecting or uh, you know questioning the fact that hey my gas is up my bread's up all of these things are up and now my local ice cream store is charging me more so there's two ways to go about this the first of which is to basically outline hey you know well our costs are going up you can go into the whole spiel about uh, the Chicago mercantile has a butter index and when butter goes up in price, it's a commodity, then basically mixed prices go up in price and there can be some fluctuation uh, in your mixed pricing from month to month, let alone year to year. 2020, we're seeing a big, big hike in uh, butter pricing, which kind of spills down to the, the mixed price. So a lot of your base mixes uh, that you're making ice cream, soft serve, frozen custard with gelato are more expensive, let alone everything else on top of that. Now, the beauty is that when you're putting your price up, let's say three to 5% is typically where we're telling people to go, three to 5%. That really doesn't mean a whole lot in the per serving realm. You may find that that might equate to about 12 to 15 cents uh, per ice cream cone per Sunday, which in the grand scheme of things uh, isn't a, a huge jump. So look, you can go and explain the whole process. Well, cups are up and plastics up and mixes up. Here's my solution. You may decide to just increase pricing on a number of different items. And what I would encourage you to do is pull the data out of your POS system, your register system, have a look at what you would think is selling well or what is selling well, what you could tweak pricing on. You may not increase pricing over the entire menu. You might increase pricing on just one or two or three or five items that you know are a little bit less expensive. The food cost is way down on it. So you think, well, there's some percentage points to be gained there. But honestly, I've always been a believer that people don't buy ice cream on cost in an ice cream shop. Yes, they might go down to the grocery store and look at all of those banks of different manufacturers and they may look at pricing because it's side by side. But honestly, when they're coming into your store, they're not really coming in for ice cream. They are coming in for an experience. They are coming in for a celebration. They might be coming in for a commiseration. And there's a lot more happening in your store that contributes to this ice cream process than just the product itself. If your staff is super engaging, they know who you are. Hey, uh, here's Fred. He's my butter pecan guy. Welcome back, Fred. Oh, new love of your life, Fred. Well, anyway, that is a value to someone coming into your ice cream shop. The environment in which you're at, you've got your big screen TVs on the wall, there's music playing there, waffle cone aroma filling the air. That's what people are coming down to pay for. And in the grand scheme of things, if you're asking someone to pay 12 to 15 cents more for a Sunday or a cone, based on all of these other things that are happening in their experience, that's a relatively small price to pay. But I know some ice cream shops are actually in a pretty cutthroat area. Maybe you're in a middle to lower socioeconomic area uh, and it does make sense or it does make a difference what people are paying. Then you may wanna go the model of saying, hey, well, you know, our prices are up and so forth. Regardless, I guess the positive to take out of this thing is that Pricing is up on everything rather than just ice cream alone. I think that it'd be problematic if everything else was staying stable and you're ramping up your pricing. You know, you're falling in line with uh, increasing costs in a lot of other areas. It's unfortunate, but the beauty of it is that even though an increase in your mix price uh, may be dramatic on a case of mix, 
per serving is where you've got to break it down to. And in the grand scheme of things, as I said, it might be between seven, 10, 12, 14 cents per serve. I think you're in pretty good shape. I would strive to not get into an explanation as to why you put your prices up. Give them much more value of coming in. Engagement and environment is what really counts in this in-store ice cream experience. Look, I hope that helps. I know that uh, a lot of ice cream shops are struggling to kind of maintain. It's gonna be a busy season. I still think that coming to an ice cream shop is gonna be a lot less expensive than a family trip interstate or to go and see grandma or whatever. Uh, so don't be overly concerned. I think you're gonna be okay. So great question. Thank you very much for your episode sponsorship from the Chocolate Shop folks. And if you have a question or conundrum about the ice cream business, you can leave a comment down below or over here or wherever they leave comments here. And uh, we'd love to be able to answer it for you. Keep on scooping and we'll see you in the next video.